Hey, what's going on? It's like, here I have an iPhone 4, it has an LCD blemish, uh, messed up home button, messed up mute switch, just a lot of parts are messed up about it. It's 32 gigabyte, but what I'm going to be doing is, um, I'm going to be recording off the phone while I destroy it. See, the home button barely works, but I'm going to be recording off it while I destroy it. And the video that <clears throat> breaks the phone, I will film off of this. But everything else I'm going to film off this phone, whatever it can film, before I completely destroy it. So Starting off, simple. A drop from roughly 7 feet onto wood. Let's do it in 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're still good. The phone survived with just a little scuff in the corner. Next up is a drop from roughly 6 feet on the concrete. In 3, 2, 1. Still good. All right, so from that drop, right off the bat, the power button is now non-functional. You can see it's pressed in from that drop. It landed perfectly on the power button. Dang, that's a problem with these iPhone 4s, so now I have to use that assessive touch thingy. Um, there's also a little scuff on the back, but it did not crack and still looks pretty good. Keep in mind, I'm only gonna be dropping this a bunch. I'm not gonna be like throwing it in water or anything because I wanna get the videos. All right, guys, so I noticed in the last two clips that the audio was super quiet. That's because there was a bunch of dust in the microphone, so I had to use like a safety pin and um, get all the dust out, so now it's super clear. You guys probably noticed that too. But now what we're going to be doing is throwing it from roughly 15, 20 feet onto that wood down there, and then I'll do concrete. Let's do it in three, two, one. Missed. Alright guys, so even though I missed on the last one, I kind of hit the wood a little bit, and I hit like... The roof up there um there's some new lcd dead pixels right there and obviously some scratches along the phone we're gonna go ahead and do that one again throwing it from 15 20 feet onto the wood see if i can make it all right so attempt numero dos we're gonna throw it up try to make it land on the wood right there three two one oh, i missed concrete all right, so that landed on the cement. Oh man. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe I can fix this. I probably can, but that landed on the cement from, well, it's all flickering. Oh my God. Landed on the cement from 20 feet. I can definitely save the video at least. Oh, this thing is messed up. I think it's just the, um. oh, hey, <laughs> it unstuck the power button. So now that works. Um. The housing's destroyed, the back is popping off, but holy crap, there's no cracks. I just kind of want to see if um, if I can revive this. Like, I think the LCD might just be unplugged. So yeah, I'll have to try that out. All right, guys. So I know technically the phone is already completely destroyed because the LCD's destroyed. Trust me, I tried plugging everything back in. Uh, it's still all messed up, but hey, I can still record videos. So what I'm gonna be doing next is I have a hammer here. I have it plugged into my MacBook just in case it dies because the battery is very bad on this thing. So I'm going to be hitting the back of it somewhat lightly with a hammer just to see if I can completely destroy the back. Just to make kind of like a cool video or like destroy the camera lens. So let's go ahead and do it. The video stopped, but it still works. So. All right, guys, so we actually have physical damage to the glass from that. The front screen actually cracked despite me having hit the back. The back didn't crack at all. This kind of chipped away, but the camera, the back camera is completely non-functional. If I can show you guys, hang on. It's so hard. Oh, wow, this is like... Okay, the front camera works, you can see, but when I switch to the back camera, it just completely freezes, so... I'll have to film off the front camera for these next tests, so the quality will be a bit worse, but yeah, it's more for entertainment purposes, not really for quality. All right, guys, so since the back facing camera is non-functional, we're going to have to resort to the crappy VGA front camera. And that's good because we're going to be cra uh, smashing the front side of this phone. Um, I'm only going hit to hit it with light hits just to see if I can like get it to crack. Oh my god. Oh no. 
I need to get all that glass to fall out. The camera quality is terrible now. Haha. <laughs> Dang. Hey, I mean, it still records, but the quality is all awful. Okay, I'm completely destroying the front screen on this thing. Like the LCD included. Dang. I gotta get somehow get that glass to fall out so that the camera quality is better. Alright, guys. So the front camera is mostly clear, but I cut my finger in the process of trying to pry the glass out. Fun. Alright, guys. So damage from the last clip. Uh, LCD is completely destroyed, but digitizer is still fine. The screen's cracked. I had to peel the glass from the front camera, so that still works. The back also cracked. So dang, this thing is looking much more destroyed. All right guys, so that's kind of a final test. I'm gonna be slamming this thing face down onto the ground, straight onto the concrete. This will be the last test because hopefully it'll completely kill the phone. We're gonna be slamming it face down right onto that concrete there, just to see if I can get the screen to fall off or the LCD to completely break. So let's do it in three, two, one. Ooh. All right guys, now it's safe to say that the phone's completely destroyed. The LCD still shows some life, you can kind of see it, but the digitizer is completely cooked, so I will not be able to film videos off this thing anymore. Yeah, you can kind of see it if I get it at the right angle that the LCD works. But yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this fun little video. Peace out.